So another awesome tweak for today is called Activator, and basically it allows you to add custom, well, it's hard to explain, but I'll show you. So for starters, I'll click on Anywhere, and it gives you a bunch of options. Home button, lock screen, motion, multi-touch ge uh, gesture, power, sleep button, slide in gesture. So basically, once you click on one of these, say you double press the home button, it basically allows you to reassign whatever you want to to the home button. So right now when you when I double press, my multitasking thing comes up. But I can change that to something else, such as take a screenshot. So when I double click, it takes a screenshot. And yeah, I'm not going to keep it that way because I need my home button. Um, so I'll be showing you a few awesome ways to use this. Once you go download it from Cydia, once again, it's called Activator. Alright, so let me show you a few awesome ways to use this tweak. First, go into triple press home button, and I have it set to safe mode, which is in case your iPod decides to go haywire. Um, the next one is lock screen. Instead of double clicking the home button, which I usually do to get my iPod controls from the clock, I just double tap the clock and my iPod controls show up. I will show you that in a second double tap and there's my iPod controls if you ask me it's a lot easier another awesome way to use this tweak is when you go into motion shake device so basically from anywhere in uh, your springboard app whatever wherever you are you can shake the device and it will turn the volume up toggle recording lock the device actually I think I'll show you that so I'll lock the device and I won't click anywhere I'll just shake the device there you go bunch of other ones I don't really have much time but if you do five finger pinch from your springboard it will you can make it close the app or so on and so forth you can also use the volume buttons for things I have my volume buttons let me find it uh, volume button so if I double press it will automatically start playing music or pause the music and if I keep the down pressed it will automatically go to the last song I was playing and if I keep the up button pressed, it will automatically go to the next song that I should be playing. And the last thing I'll be showing you is your status bar, which should be pretty productive. So, for me, if I double tap on my status uh, bar, it will automatically bring me to my messages. And finally, if I double tap on the right side, it will allow me to tweet. Or, say, I slide to the left on my status bar, it will automatically bring me to Facebook, but I don't have Facebook running right now, so it won't work. But other than that, you can play around with this tweak quite nicely, and it is quite an old tweak, and a lot of people know about it, but if by any chance you didn't, well, I hope you learned something today. Thank you very much, please subscribe, and I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully.